alpha into beta equal to c by a 4 into minus 2 here c in this one is minus 8 and a is 1 so we get minus 8 equal to minus 8 again verified so this completes our first sum now i'll be doing the third sum in this uh, exercise 2.2 that is 6 x square minus 3 minus a by the seeing this sum you can easily make out it is not in standard form so we will bring it first to standard form minus 7 x minus 3 equal to 0 now when we have to find you know you have to multiply the 6 into 3 find the factors for 18 now for factors are 6 minus 9x plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 here taking out common in this one 3x so 2x minus 3 plus nothing is common so 1 2x minus 3 equal to 0 2x minus 3 one time and 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 equal to 0 so 2x minus 3 equal to 0 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 x equal to plus 3 by 2 x equal to minus 1 by 3 so these are the zeros of the given polynomial that is quadratic polynomial so for the verification part take the arranged form of quadratic equation not the originally given now if we will compare this with the standard form coefficients will be a equal to 6 b equal to minus 7 c equal to minus 3 now sum of the zeros alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a alpha here will take alpha equal to 3 by 2 beta equal beta equal to minus 1 by 3 alpha here is 3 by 2 plus of minus 1 by 3 and minus b is in this case minus 7 minus 7 divided by a here is 6 now when you do it this one in this case take lcm it will be 6 9 minus 2 this will be plus 7 by 6 minus minus thing so 7 by 6 equal to 7 by 6 verified first part second part is product of the zeros product of the zeros that is alpha into beta is c by a alpha here is 3 by 2 into beta is 1 by 3 c here is minus 3 minus 3 and a is 6 cancel you can cancel 1 time 2 time so 1 by 2 equal to minus 1 by 2 yes we verified here so this completes the third sum now it is similar that is a x square plus b x plus equal to 0 if the sum is not of the form a x square plus b x equal to 0 that is 4 u square plus 8 u here if you say coefficients a is 4 b is 8 c is 0 constant term is missing so c is 0 now alpha we have to find the zeros of this equation was simple thing no splitting middle term we have just take out common you get u plus 2 equal to 0 so 4 u equal to 0 u plus 2 equal to 0 u equal to 0 and u equal to minus 2 so we have two zeros since it is a quadratic equation we need to get two zeros u equal to 0 u equal to minus alpha will be 0 beta will be minus 2 now i think you can verify the next part sum of the zeros product of the zeros fine then fifth sum
i am leaving this second part for you all to do it let me know you can message me about this part whether you are you have done this part or not fifth one that is t square minus 15 equal to 0 when you compare this with the standard form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here you can find the second that is bx part is missing this is a constant term do not take 15 as b so a here is 1 b is 0 c is minus 15 now i'll teach you to do this sum in two ways whichever you find it easier first one t square minus 15 equal to 0 t equal to t square equal to plus 15 t when you pass the square root pass along with the plus or minus 15 so t we have one time plus 15 and t equal to minus root a plus or minus 15 so 2 zero second one second alternative method equal to zero now without changing this value we will write it as t square square root of 15 whole square equal to zero you can check here square and square root get cancel we will get back the question again now this is of the form a square minus b square we know the formula a plus b and a minus b so for this one t plus root 15 t minus root 15 so t will be equal to minus root 15 or t will be equal to plus root 15 Fine. T is minus root 15. T equal to. So alpha here will be root 15, and beta will be minus. As I told you, we can take it the either way. So now for the verification part, sum of the zeros alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. Alpha here is root 15. Beta is plus. Minus root 15 equal to minus. Here you can see b is zero, a is one. Plus and minus cancel. Zero equal to zero. Verified. Second part. Product of the zeros equal to c by a. You need to mention write it in words. Product of the zero and all. Then alpha here is plus root 15 into minus root 15. Here this is c. C given is minus fifteen. A is one. Here you can make it minus plus into minus minus root fifteen whole square square and square root cancel. So we get minus fifteen equal to minus fifteen. So thus verify. You can try another two sums are the second and uh, sixth sum work out. It is similar what I have already explained to you. Now coming to the second part of the exercise that is you have to focus here find quadratic polynomial each with the given numbers that is it is already made sum and product i want you all to underline this even in your textbook sum and product of its zeros respectively here already the numbers which are given has been given as the sum given here is already alpha and beta are the zeros then Alpha plus beta, they have added already for you. Then alpha into beta equal to minus one. I have already given formula to form the quadratic equation. The standard form here is plus alpha into beta equal to zero. X square as it is, minus sine as it is. Here one by four x. Plus of minus. Initially, make habit of writing like this. Do not write directly. We get here one by four x minus one equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. Still, this denominator that is four can be excluded. Whenever you have a denominator or a fraction, see to that you multiply throughout the polynomial by this given equation. Even if at all here some number was there, take LCM of both. And multiply with that number. Now multiply throughout with four. Look what happens. 
फोर इंटू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस फोर इंटू वन बै फोर एक्स माइनस फोर इंटू वन ईक्वल टू जीरो दिस फोर एंड दिस फोर गेट कैंसल वी गेट अ पर्फेक्ट क्वाड्राटिक इक्वेशन ईक्वल टू जीरो सो रिमेंबर दिस टेक्निक और ट्रिक वेन यू हैव फ्रैक्शन यू हैव टू टेक द एल सी एम सिंस दिस इज वन एंड वन सो एल सी एम विल बी फोर मल्टीप्लाई थ्रू आउट द इक्वेशन बाय फोर सो दैट यू गेट द इक्वेशन नाउ वन मोर सम आई विल बी शोइंग हियर एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ट्राई डूइंग इट योर सेल्फ इट इज वेरी ईजी आई विल बी शोइंग योर सेकेंड वन द स्क्वेर रूट पार्ट सो आलफा प्लस बीटा सम ऑफ द जीरोस इज गिवन रूट टू एंड आलफा इन टू बीटा दैट इज प्रोडक्ट इज गिवन एज वन बाय थ्री सो अगेन द इक्वेशन इज आलफा प्लस बीटा एक्स प्लस आलफा इन टू बीटा इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस साइन ऑफ द फॉर्मुला रिमेंबर माइनस फर्स्ट देन प्लस यूजली स्टूडेंट टेन टू डू दिस मिस्टेक बाय राइटिंग प्लस हियर एंड माइनस देर रिमेंबर फर्स्ट माइनस देन प्लस हियर alpha plus beta already has been done root 2 x plus 1 by 3 equal to 0 so here x square minus root 2 x now what is the problem here again we have 3 in the denominator so what is the next step to be done multiply throughout multiply throughout by yes 3 so 3 x square माइनस थ्री इंटू रूट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू दिस इज जीरो सो एक्चुअली वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस साइड ऑल्सो इट इज ऑलरेडी जीरो सो इट डजेंट मेक डिफरेंस कैंसिल सी आर डिनोमिनेटर गॉट कैंसिल नो वी गेट अगेन अ परफेक्ट क्वाड्राटिक इक्वेशन दैट इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री रूट टू एक्स प्लस वन equal to zero. I hope it is clear for you to frame the quadratic equation when sum and product of the zeros are given. This question might be asked in a different way, which I'll be teaching in the next video. Okay, thank you.